Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Hearthstone and today we'll be continuing our beginner's guide to Hearthstone. So uh, in the last video, I actually promised you guys to show you guys uh, what's the new, uh, the free stuff you can obtain on Hearthstone. So uh, most of it is going to be in the solo adventure section. So let's start. So uh, if you log in, you'll actually be able to get uh, three free Cobots and Catacombs packs just from logging in. I mean re-logging in uh, after your after you log out once and then you log back in, you get free, three free packs. And at, at the time of this video, you get another three free packs because uh, Blizzard, uh, Blizzard just gives you three, three free packs. So you can claim it from the uh, battle.net, but you do need a computer to access it, I believe. And so you get, so far you get a total of six free Cobalt and Catacombs packs. And additionally, you'll get a free weapon from the Cobalt and Catacombs set. Uh, I got the, this account has the uh, Dragon Soul, received the Dragon Soul and so far this account has also received uh, Geo Sculptor It from um, from the 6 Cobots and Cat Catacomb packs that have been opened. So yep, that's, that concludes the, uh, oh wait, you still can get more packs, uh, Cobots and Catacombs packs by completing uh, this quest. So after you defeat 5 dungeon uh, boss. Uh, uh, you after you defeat five, 5 dungeon bosses, I believe the next reward will be at 7 or 10, but you get 2 additional free packs. So in total, you'll be able to receive 9 free Cobalt and Catacombs packs, uh, coupled, with, uh, one, cu coupled with 1 legendary weapon from that set. Uh, yep. So that concludes the Cobalt and Catacombs. Next, uh, Frozen Throne. So if you go into Frozen Throne, you'll actually be able to uh, fight the Lich King in the prologue. And if you do, um, if you get defeated by the Lich King and defeat defeat Tyrion afterwards, you do receive the uh, one Death Knight hero uh, from the nine classes. So this account received uh, this account received Death Soccer Rexa. Uh, he's a pretty good card. He can be included in almost every single hundred. Hunter deck as a late game finisher. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, next will be Karazhan. So Karazhan, you have uh, two free cards. Uh, once again, you play the prologue, defeat Melkazar, and you earn two cards. Uh, these two cards are pretty good. Uh, the first one's Enchanted Raven. It's a Druid card. It used to be in most, uh, it used to be a staple in token Druid decks. So I'd say it's a pretty good card. Uh, next card will be Firelands Portal. Uh, it used to be one of the core cards in Mage because of its insane uh, tempo that it brings to the table. So yeah. Uh, by the way, take note of uh, Karazhan. Uh, you should buy. Uh, you should complete the Karazhan's prologue immediately because you'll be uh, rotated out in April, and the expansion will no longer be available. The adventure will no longer be available. Uh, also in practice mode, uh, if you have completed practice mode in normal as we have done last episode, you'll be able to receive 100 gold, I believe. Uh, if you complete it in expert, I think it's another 100 gold, uh, either that or, or classic pack. Alright, uh, and additionally, uh, you'll be able to get one free arena run, as you can see here. Ah, new here. Let me pay for your first run Choose through the arena, arena then. Oh wait, is this, is this Wow Fest Arena? I just get myself into Wow Fest Arena. Oh no, when does it end? Does it end today? I think it ends two days later. Oh god. Uh, Hunter, I guess. Okay, this has just turned into a. Uh, this has just turned into a arena run. We couldn't pick the other two, so we had to pick Corridor Creeper. Uh, okay, so basically for beginners, Arena is like, uh, it's a place where you can earn gold, uh, earn gold and packs. Or you can, uh, or in my case, I come here to get discounted packs uh, because I can't actually get seven, uh, seven wins con uh, consistently. So yep, it, it looks like, a, it doesn't look like a wild fest so far, but I don't know. 
Uh, over here we're gonna pick the fungal mancer. Cause Tundra Rhino, there's no guarantee that we get uh bees. Uh, stalker, I guess. Uh, Squire is good. Hmm. The uh, this 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 guy is actually pretty good. Uh, this card or Ultra Saw. I think we need a late game uh minion. Uh, in this case, Hosen Healer will be good. Oh, Abominable Bowman is pretty insane. So let's just pick that. And it goes well with the, uh, what's it called? It goes well with the Stalker we pick. Yep. Uh, in this case, definitely the Spellstone. Spellstone is good even by itself. So, yep. Oh wait, I, I just realized. Uh, okay, Spellstone, basically 5 mana, 6-6 six, six for of stats. It's really good card. Yeah. And uh, next, uh, Stagodon. Again, uh, 4 mana, 2-6 is not that bad. And it's a pretty good stat distribution as well. Uh, over here, we're gonna pick the Naga Corsair. 4 mana, 5-4. Uh, Stat-wise, uh, we pick it. So, Terra, st terra Skill. Uh, Cookie Chemist is actually one of those cards with a lot of uh, applications. Meaning that you can use it to... Do something funny with your uh, opponent's minions, which is why you pick it over the other two at least. Uh, injured, uh, shrieking shroom I actually like. Yeah, let's just go with shrieking shroom. Uh, wandering monster I think. Either that or volcano saw, but I don't really like. Hmm, let me think about this. We don't actually have a lot. Of... Hmm, I think volcano saw might be better, but. I'm trying to uh, create synergy for the uh, spell stone. But it's fine, let's just go with Volcano Saw. Ah, this card is pretty good. Uh, okay, the thing about uh, Grime Street Informant is that although it's a 2 mana 1-1, one, one, uh, draw a card, uh, quote unquote draw a card, uh, it allows you to discover answers which, you might, which might not have started on your deck, which is why it's good. Uh, in this case, I'll pick Candle Shot. If you play on turn 1, it's actually really good. Uh, Bear Shark, we don't want to pick Mistress or Mixtures because uh, we are looking to be aggressive. In this case, I'll, it's a tie between Explosive Shot and uh, Wandering Monster. In this case, I'll pick... I'm tempted to pick Explosive Shot, but I think Wandering Monster is better. Because uh, I think we need more 2 drops. We only have 1, 2, 2, 2, two, two drops. So, Wandering Monsters prob... Wait, let me think about this. I don't have a lot of AoE clears. Yeah, let's go with Explosive Shot. I think quite little stuff replaces Explosive Shot. Um, on the Hunt's pretty good. Because uh, it's, a, it's basically an Elven Archer. Play Dead. Uh, I could I could do something cute like uh play it into the uh abominable bowman, but nah, let's not take that risk. Uh, we'll go with the spawn on the Zor. Hmm. Uh, Grim Necromancer is good. Uh, we don't want to pick two candle shots. Oh, uh, Valkyrie is actually not bad as well. Um, it's pretty difficult to choose here. Um, I think the Valkyrie. Ah, oh, another Corsair. A Corsair with the weapon uh, is actually pretty good. So I'll pick the Corsair. Ah, oh, another Spellstone. Hmm, or Atin. Atin or Spellstone. Uh, honestly, you can never go wrong with a Spellstone, I think. But Atin, you, you can go wrong sometimes. Oh, South Sea. Uh, South Sea, actually, we have, a we we have one singular weapon. One, one single weapon, but... I think the odds of that happening are pretty low, so I'm gonna go with Eldritch. Oh wait, the Socialite, we might have to pick it because we have so little 2 drops. Yeah, let's just go with the Socialite, even though it's not the most ideal. A Norubian Prophet is insane because uh, you usually hold it in your starting hand and it goes down to a 0 mana 4-4, four, four. so pick that. Uh, Senjin is good, I think. We don't have an 8 drop, so we can't pick the Vanguard. Uh, Senjin... Senjin or Multi-Shot? 
Uh, I think multi shot. I think Sanjin's not that good. Gain a death rattle or random minion attack. Do we only have one death rattle? Let me check. Uh, oh, we have one death rattle of this and. Um, hmm, I don't think there's any other death rattle, right? Prophet Bowman. Bowman, we have a death rattle. So if we get to copy the. Uh, Bowman's death rattle is actually insane. Another arena player and see how your deck holds up. This is gonna be terrible. Uh is it still Wild Fest? Because we drafted the standard deck. Uh which means that it'll be weaker, I think. I'm not sure it'll be weaker or stronger. Because there might be a lot of shredders out there. Piloted shredder, I mean, uh for the new newcomers. Rexa versus so Pirate Shredder is a uh, 4 mana 4 3. Death Rattle summon a 2 cost. And if you are wondering why I'm explaining all this, because it's because uh, this video is meant for uh newer players. It's just that I've accidentally clicked into arena. Alright, so hopefully we discover a secret or something. <clears throat> Interesting. So play play this. Oh, demon fire. That's gonna be a problem. Coin? Okay. Oh, wax elemental. Oh, it's gonna be a problem. Uh we'll play the informant, see what we get. Oh, we do get Gore Howl. Exploding Bloodbat is actually a viable choice, I think, in this case. But I think Gore Howl. Gore Howl looks good. Yeah, he looks good. And on turn 5, we're probably gonna explode the 3-4. The oh, he played around. Oh, wow. Synergy. Oh, Dark Pact. Even more synergy. I don't know what he's doing actually. I actually have no clue what he's doing. Uh, okay, let's see over here. I'm gonna play the spawn of Nazoth. Remove this and I hit his face. Uh, the question is now do we play explosive shot by itself if he doesn't play anything? I think we still do because the 3-4 poses quite a bit of a problem. Live tap. Yes, Rupert. Okay, we definitely play the explosive shot. Okay, so we remove this. Now I'm glad that I actually picked this card. Uh, the Dark Pack uh, on, on the Warlock side, the Dark Pack on the Librarian probably wasn't the best idea. Kara Kazem. Oh, we got a candle shot. Now, uh, let me think over here. Um. We could play the on the hunt this, then we trade this in a, we trade this into this, and then we trade this into this, and we play the wolves. Yeah, yeah, that that, that seems good. We play this first on the hunt. Kill this off. Hit this. Blast everything else, and we kill this. Yeah, it looks good. Pretty solid turn. I think we get the gore how to uh, repeatedly kill his minions. Oh, so fire. Oh, cool. Pick that. On this turn, we're gonna skip out on the gore how because uh, he has no actual minions to play, I think. Uh, rather, we're gonna be playing this. So I will hit him in the face a couple of times. Hopefully he dies soon. We actually have 7 damage worth of burst over here. Alright. That's fine. Probably taps. Yep. Followed by demon fire, which is also fine. Ooh. So what do we get? We get 
this, obviously. And that's an insane death rattle to copy. Oh, by the way, the arena, uh, the method of arena drafting is gonna be changed soon, uh, from what I heard. It's gonna be changed to, uh, uh blast crystal. Into a wolf. That's that's fine. It's gonna be changed to uh, where every sing where the three cards shown will be of e uh, of similar power level. So the drafts are gonna be more difficult. You'll upgrade your prize key. Yay! We won once. Oh yeah, uh, like I said, uh, the it'll be such that all three cards will be of the of similar power level, so it means that uh, you could get three really bad cards or three really good cards, and uh, you'd have to pick from there. So I'm interest uh, I'm interested to find out how this will change arena. Yeah, it'll probably be a, a higher higher skill requirement because you have to pick up all the synergies and stuff. Versus Uther. It'll, it'll probably also benefit from those uh, half arena users because half arena can actually show you synergies that uh, beginners cannot. On the hunt is actually a keep here because we can kill off his uh, dude at the start. Oh, why do so many people pick Wax Elemental? Is it that good? Ooh. Oh, I see why you picked that, uh, that card now. I understand now. Uh, <coughs> uh, oh, this is terrible. Uh, probably this? Yeah, probably this. And uh, I don't know, maybe play spawn on the Zolf or something next turn. I'll play this. Oh no. Uh, We could play Naga Corsair now to prevent his. No, his Wind Fury will definitely go off. So we clear the Mastiff and the that guy. So we're gonna have to kill the Mastiff off. Yeah, we have no choice. Back will bouncer. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Um, oh, Fungal Mancer though. Um, over here I think I'll play. The wolves, yeah, the wolves looks good. Oh, but the 4 4 is gonna gain Wind Fury, which is not good. Oh no. It's now really, really powerful. It's the face as expected. We have 5 health left. So uh, we're forced to do this. Definitely need to clear this and this. Oh, that was just really lucky of him. Well yeah, he probably won. Well Ooh, for the finish. Hmm, that was a, uh, that was really unfortunate. I think. Well, it's fine. Hmm, you actually get two Naga Corsairs. Um, I think throwing all three cards will be... It's accept it's an acceptable play. Oh no. But we do get spawn on, spawn on the Zorf. Which means that our uh, Oozling will be... Better. I guess. Because we get to copy the Abominable Bowman's uh, ability, uh, Death Rattle. Pharaoh Gibbera. Okay.
Okay, we'll end our turn. Hmm. Add a copy of it to a hero. Probably place the other copy as well. Nope, place the dart. Oh, place so many stuff. Uh, we'll play this though. Oh no, this thing has... Uh, this thing became useless. Okay, adds another copy to his hand. And this starting to become a problem. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. This somehow became a problem. One shot, one. At least we have a heavily discounted uh, Corridor Creeper to play. But we're not probably not even gonna play that. Probably gonna play the Valkyrie instead. I don't know. Is it possible that we reduce the cost to zero in uh, within the next turn? Coin, okay. Secret. Ah, we do have multi shot. Wait, wait. hallucination. Oh yeah, so it's completely random. Uh, hopefully it's not a freezing trap. We'll try something like this first. Okay, so we'll play this. Is that cat trick? Nope. Oh. Uh, then it's probably something like... Um, Go ahead. I have no idea. Or something like an explosive trap. Okay, so we'll be playing uh, this and fuel powering. Oh wait, no, no, we just played. Uh, oh no, it's misdirection. It's fine. Oh, that's fine. We only take five damage to the face. It's okay, I guess. I was right. Validated doomsayer. So uh. Probably we'll, 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 we will remove it. Uh, probably Valkyr hero power remove the Doomsayer. I will purify the my Has any beast died this game? Hmm. Pinch of death oh, this be a low cost spell. Oh, yes. He needed a wisp. He definitely needed a wisp. Or a penguin. A wisp equi equivalent. Huh. Ah, we can leave that on board. Why not, right? The face damage just looks too juicy. <clears throat> ah, green jelly, that's fine. We can remove it with uh, the tutu. Oh, that no longer exists. That's fine, still fine. I think we'll probably still end, win end up winning. Yeah, we still end up winning. <coughs> so, two wins, yay. Not bad for a beginner. Yeah. Rexa versus Jaina. Oh, if you're wondering why I keep checking the uh uh video recorder, it's because uh I actually recorded a video before this. It's just that uh this uh the video somehow stopped recording halfway, so I'm a little paranoid right now.
if you think about it, Candle Shot is basically the mid shield power times 3. Except that it doesn't go through Thorn. Believe it. Yeah, believe it. In case we get something like a Naga Corsair and become a. Uh, 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 what's it called? What's the Paladin 2 mana 2 2 weapon that has a potential to become a 2 3? I forgot what it's called. Uh, the the Arjun Lance or something like that. Ooh. Interesting choice. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Uh, we'll play this. The dark is my destiny. And we'll trade this in. So we get tons of value. And also we get Corsair. And we won. <laughs> oh, okay, we just happened to win. Hey, we got our money back, sort of. I mean, we didn't pay anything for this run, but uh, three wins is for beginners. Three wins is the it, it's possible for you to get your uh, money back, which means you get approximately fifty gold and a pack. So if you reach three wins, it's a uh, it's it's a decent arena run for you. Rexa versus Arthas. Let's the hunt begin. Uh, once again, we're gonna keep candle shot. It'll neutralize his uh dudes, and also we get Naga Corsair, which is nice. We're not gonna attack it with uh with. Okay, the the thing is, you don't attack with this uh hit. You don't hit it. Hit this weapon in the face because. One damage is really, really insignificant, right? But if you use it to kill a minion, it actually becomes very useful. Looking for a tree drop here or blessing of wisdom. Or Katrina doesn't seem bad either, but we have to wait for a while. I think blessing of wisdom. Yeah, it's at least a draw card, and we probably need more cards. No more. Hmm, yes. No more take candles. Uh, we're just gonna uh, blessing of wisdoms here. See what we draw first. Oh, Hosen Healer. That's nothing. Uh, hopefully it doesn't have like a... What's it called? The... Smuggler's Run. Or the other thing that gives his hand plus one plus one. The uh... Uh... What's that card called? Okay, never mind, he doesn't have it. Uh, we're gonna upgrade our weapon here. Oh. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to hit this in. Yep. Gastro pot. It's a bad play from his side because we can just remove it with the weapon. In fact, we can Hosen healer this uh, after we trade it into the Tar Creeper. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, we even be able to Mastiff the, the thing. So Hosen healer. Kill this and uh, Mastiff the last guy. And we could spawn on the Zorf something. I don't know, maybe play this and spawn on the Zorf in the next turn. Coin, okay. What's the 6 drop that you can play? Ivory Knight, interesting. It's at least a 3 cost spell. So um, we'll stick to our plan, hit this, hit this, uh, freaking shrooms, Nazor. Uh, if it's Consecration, I'll be really sad. 
shall not pass. Oh, shoe bearer, cool. Holy light. Yes, Paladin, holy light. Maybe he's just BMing us because he has consecration. Ooh, cool. Reporting for duty. Oh, so many Reporting recruits. Um Unfortunately we have no good way of uh killing this off. Hmm, and hitting his face doesn't seem that viable either. So we're gonna do this. Wait, can we spawn two wolves? No, our bot space is too full. Um Tell you what, we'll play his Stegodon and shoot his face. We'll kill off some of the recruits because uh we don't want we really don't want him to play something like a light fuse Stegodon or something. Oh, that's that's terrible. <coughs> oh, so many recruits. Oh he did play a light fuse Stegodon. Ooh, it's a good thing he cleared those stuff. Okay. Uh, oh, this is gonna be a problem. Okay, let me think about this. Um, abominable, bo abominable bowman isn't actually very useful right now. So I think we'll use the stalker on the spawn of the Zoth. Is a bot fool? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, we'll trade this in, I think. Yep. Oh, wait, let me think about this. Uh, this becomes a... Uh, so this will survive if it hits into this, so we'll trade this in. Let me think about it. Uh, yeah, we do, we do. So we trigger this. And uh, we hit hit this in hit this in and uh oh no we misplayed slightly but it's fine what do we get we get a oh that's awesome it's pretty freaking good oh please don't hit the three three one Two, three. Oh, it died. Oh, even that thing died. Oh, it's a pity. Oh, a pity. Reporting for duty. Oh, now he's playing all his silver hand recruits. So go ahead and uh, abominable bowman and can you just game off? What do we get? Ah, oh, another Wind Fury dude. Yeah, 4-1 isn't too bad. Silver Moon Portal, okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, he didn't die yet. Wait, no, he still died. Yeah. He saw him misplayed, I think. He could have killed for 20 health. And live a little longer, but, yeah. Okay, so that was five games. So uh, that marks the end of the first part of the arena. I'm not gonna play anymore. Uh, I didn't even I didn't even intend to go into arena today. It's just that I clicked on arena and it just brought me into arena. So, yep. So that's the end of the, this uh, half stone video, guys. Uh, it's not really a beginners guide. It's more of an arena guide to beginners, which I didn't really do as well. It's 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 more of a uh, I don't know. Uh, arena run on the beginners account 